Hello, dear family of Asia Pacific One. I hope you feel beautiful. I hope you feel wonderful. I hope we can remember how much God loves us, as is evidenced by what? Actually, by all of human history. If we study all of human history, and we can understand how much God has invested and sacrificed and waited for this day, God has invested all of these great people, great leaders throughout human history who always had to go away of such sacrifice. You know, it's almost like they had to sacrifice just to get our attention. But really, these courses of indemnity were not needed. You know, when we study history, if you study the scriptural uh, records of history, if you study the Bible, Many people believe that all of those things had to happen in order for us to understand God, but that's not the case. Every story, every single chapter of human history happened because of a previous failure. Even every victory that was necessary was necessary because of some kind of failure, of course, starting at the very beginning. So... Really, honestly, and truly, I believe that when God looks at us, he feels, I love you so much. I wish you can understand how much I love you, how much I want to embrace you, how much I am there when you see me and when you hear me, and also how much I am there when you don't hear me and don't feel me. I'm there. I'm rooting for you. I mean, think of your own child. If you've ever sent your child to a sports game or up on a stage at school to give their first, sing their first song or give their first speech, how much you long for your child to be happy, how much you long for your child to be victorious. And even when your child makes a mistake or falls down and scrapes their knee, how do you feel? You feel like really encouraging them to get up and try again. And uh, even if we scold them, we only scold our children because we want them to be happy. We want them to do better in order to be happy. But I believe God really loves you, really loves us and all of the world. We are one family in Asia Pacific One. You know, this is a territory designed by True Mother. And these borders around our 19 nations and one area of Hong Kong, this is like a 20 nations. Uh, Mother designed that. And uh, I think it's uh, beautiful that we can come together every morning at the national level and now district and local level. But remember, we are you know, also Asia Pacific One, one family. And uh, more than anything, I hope today that you can feel your relationship with God. I, I hope that this week, you can start to give testimonies about what kind of breakthrough or what kind of experience you had with God in your walk with God as a son, as a daughter of God, no matter your age, no matter your gender. Yes, this is our first step in life to really develop that relationship with God. So I just want to say, I know God loves you. God loves us. True parents surely, truly, deeply love us. And with that, I wish you the best. I know Mother's praying for you, thinking about you, and so moved by your efforts. So please support one another, and let us make today a beautiful, beautiful day, a beautiful week, and share with me. Please send to me either directly if you have my contact or through your national leader. Please let me know how you are. Let me know what you're feeling and what breakthroughs you're having or what experiences you're having that are leading to a deeper life of faith, a deeper connection to God and to true parents. Thank you so much. God bless you. And as they say in Cambodia, recreate, you know, recreate in English sounds like recreate. And in Cambodia, it means Khmer, it means joyfully. Isn't that interesting? Brothers and sisters in Cambodia, isn't that interesting? Your word for joyfully in English sounds like recreate, recreate. So let us recreate ourselves and recreate our lives daily joyfully. God bless you and have a wonderful morning.